In this video I'll be showing you how to make a braised red cabbage. Braised red cabbage is great as a side dish to any main course and this bun's particularly good as it also is vegan. Before we get started, if you'd like to see lots of cooking and baking, both savoury and sweet, why not start right now by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications bell. This recipe's great as it's an all-in-one method so you just have to place all the ingredients into a pan and then just cook in one pot. Begin by adding 450 grams of shredded red cabbage to a pan. You don't have to be very specific on how you shred it, you can shred it how you like. Add in 275 grams of red wine. You don't need to use an expensive one for this, again cooking wine or just a cheap wine will be fine. Add in your 6 grams of salt and then add 65 grams of white wine vinegar. The white wine vinegar will give this red cabbage quite an acidic taste which is quite nice cut against a savoury dish but I do tend to add two teaspoons of apple sauce just to add a slight bit of sweetness. Other alternatives you could add for an alternative flavour could be a cinnamon stick, shredded apple, a little bit of sugar or some orange zest or anything else that takes your fancy. Cover the pan with a lid and then place onto a high heat and bring up to the boil. I've sped this up here but it will take approximately 10 minutes to reach a boil. As you can see here, once it comes up to the boil, take the lid off the pan and then give the cabbage a good stir. Make sure it's all submerged under your wine at this point and then put the lid back on and turn the heat down to a low to medium setting and then replace the lid back on. It's important that we place the lid back on at this stage as it's the steam generated from the wine that is also helping to cook the cabbage and make it nice and tender. Be sure to be careful when you stir in the red cabbage, not only will the mixture be hot, any splashes from the red cabbage will stain anything in the surrounding area very easily, especially clothing. Once stirred well, place the lid back on the pan and then allow to the cabbage to continue cooking. While that's working away, let me take this opportunity to tell you about a great thing called Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a great donation site where you can really help out this channel by donating the equivalent of the price of a cup of coffee. Not only will your donation help out this channel in future videos, you'll also have the opportunity to leave a message where you could even suggest ideas for the next video. If you would like to support the channel, there's a link in the description. Your donations would be greatly appreciated. After 15 minutes of simmering, remove the lid from the pan. You can see here from the amount of steam given off, that's the steam that's been trapped inside the pan that helps to braise the cabbage and also keep it nice and tender. Give the cabbage a really good stir. Make sure you catch the bottom of the pan and the side walls and make sure it's all incorporated, otherwise it may stick to the bottom and burn. After you've given it a good stir, place the lid slightly off the pan to allow the steam to start escaping as the liquor that we've cooked it in we want to fully evaporate by the end of the cooking process. As you can see here on screen I'm removing the lid and stirring about every five minutes at this stage. This is to allow more steam to escape and also to make sure that the cabbage does not stick to the bottom of the pan. By this stage your cabbage should have turned a nice dark colour and also it should have become nice and tender. Now it's just a case of just continuously stirring and allowing the steam to escape until the cooking liquor has almost evaporated. We want to try and cook it for as long as possible so that there's almost no liquid whatsoever left in the pan by the end of the cooking process. Don't forget, for all aspects of cooking and baking, from sweet to savoury, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell to never miss a future upload.
Once the cooking liquor has almost all evaporated, your red cabbage is ready to serve. This is a great red cabbage that's got quite a sharpness to it due to the vinegar and it goes very well against savoury dishes. Although, as per the start of the video, if it's too sharp for your liking, you can always add a little touch of something sweet just to take the edge away. I like to serve my red cabbage with a steak pie which is coming up in a future video, be sure to subscribe to see that. And for lots more cooking and baking, why not check out one of the videos on screen now and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.